In today's podcast, we will cover the following. The holistic benefits of prayer, prayer, ritual or task. I don't know what to pray and the five W's of praying. Do you know that there are holistic benefits to praying? A life of prayer, God can benefit you spiritually, psychologically, emotionally and physically. Spiritually, firstly, you'll enjoy a deeper connection with God. Prayer strengthens your relationship with God, providing you a sense of closeness, guidance, and understanding of His will. Secondly, prayer builds your faith. A daily habit of praying to God can increase your faith and trust in God's plan. You will be more confident in difficult times as you learn to rely on Him. Psychologically, Firstly, stress reduction. Studies have shown that prayer encourages relaxation, helping you to mentally unwind. As a result, it can lower your anxiety and stress levels. Secondly, greater clarity and focus. When people talk to God, they often receive greater mental clarity. This helps them process thoughts and decisions with more peace and wisdom. Emotionally, emotional healing. Your quiet times with God allow you to express your feelings. This often brings a sense of release and emotional healing when you lay all your cares at His feet. Secondly, increased gratitude. Always give God thanks and you'll be more aware of the blessings He has given you. This will foster a sense of contentment and joy. Physically, improve sleep. <laughs> People who pray to God regularly often report better sleep. This is likely due to the calming effects of prayer, which reduces anxiety. It also lowers blood pressure. A daily habit of prayer and meditation has been linked to reduce blood pressure. Stable blood pressure levels can help to contribute to good heart health. So you see, these benefits demonstrate how prayer impacts us holistically, supporting our overall well-being in various areas. Prayer ritual or task. Prayer is one way to build our relationship with God. It's not some super complicated ritual or task. It's simply a conversation from the heart. No fancy words, no perfect script. It's been real and honest. Imagine texting your best friend, but instead of using your phone, use your heart to speak to God directly. When you pray to God by faith, you have opened up your heart and allow God to do His wonderful work in and through you. So whether you're thanking Him, asking for help, or just sharing your day, God's always listening. The cool part is that prayer isn't just talking, it's also listening. Sometimes we need to pause and do the listening. So the next time you're feeling overwhelmed, excited, or just need to talk, let's make prayer a daily conversation, not a last minute call. So do not overthink it. Prayer is neither a ritual nor a task. You say, I don't know what to pray. Well, you're not alone. Sometimes the words just don't come. And that's okay. Prayer isn't about saying the perfect thing. It's about connecting with God. Start simple and be honest. God, I don't know what to say, but I am here. God knows what's on your heart before you even say it. You can pray with your thoughts, your feelings, even with silence. David in Psalms 139 says, You know my thoughts, even when I'm far away. You know everything I do. You know what I am going to say even before I say it, Lord. You've got this. So do not stress about the words. Ask God for His help. Ask others to pray. Pray God's promises. Think about His love, His faithfulness and goodness. Always giving God thanks and worship. Remember, we have an intercessor. I thank God for the Holy Spirit who intercedes on our behalf to pray the will of the Father. So just show up. Five W's of praying. Prayer might seem big and mysterious, but let's break it down. Remember the five W's that we learned in essay writing? Who, what, where, when, and why? We can easily align this with the model prayer that Jesus taught his disciples in Luke chapter 11. In Luke chapter 11, it says, Now it came to pass as he was praying in a certain place, when he had ceased, that one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. Jesus says, When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. 
your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our sins. For we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The who, our Father who is in heaven. We are talking to God, the creator of the universe. Our heavenly Father who adopted us as his children into the family of God through Christ's sacrifice on the cross. In Genesis chapter 1, it states, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. God created mankind in his own image. And John in 1 John says, Our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Hallowed be your name. When we realize God's holiness and how sinful we are, we can't help but praise him for his goodness and mercy. God said in Isaiah 57, I am the high and holy God who lives forever. I live in a high and holy place, but I will also live with people who are humble and repentant. Isaiah cried, I saw the Lord. He was sitting on a lofty throne. Attending to him were mighty seraphims, and they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. The what? Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is what we pray. As we are an extension of God's kingdom here on earth, we should pray for His desires to be done on earth first. Matthew chapter 33 states, Your heavenly Father knows what you need, but seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. I encourage you, read the Bible. That's how we become familiar with God's will for us. Give us this day our daily bread. God is also interested in your daily needs. Jesus promises to meet all our basic needs if we put His will first. The where? Anywhere! You can pray anywhere as long as your motives are right. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus says, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. The Bible believers prayed in various locations. No place is off limits. The when, anytime. God's available 24 7 and He's always listening. Paul in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 says, Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 says, We are confident that He hears us when we ask for anything that pleases Him. The why. Jesus points us to the Father's ultimate desire. In Matthew chapter 22, Jesus replied, Love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. God wants to build a relationship with you. But you may say, I feel so far from God. James chapter 4 verse 8 says, Draw near to God and He will draw near to you. The Father wants to share secrets, so we need to endeavor to have a close relationship with Him. God said in Jeremiah chapter 33, Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Prayer keeps you connected, so we need to endeavor to have a close relationship with God. In Hebrews chapter 4, Paul said, Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace in a time of need. Prayer helps you withstand temptation. Jesus says in Matthew 26, Keep watch and pray, so that you will not give in to temptation. Humble yourselves and get rid of unforgiveness, because when you pray for each other, miracles are bound to happen. James chapter 5 says, Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Want another sure way to release God's promises? Pray with each other. Jesus says in Matthew 18, Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything that they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am with them. Paul in Hebrew says, Let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, 
but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. Pray that your joy may be full. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 18, I tell you the truth, you will ask the Father directly and he will grant you a request because you use my name. Ask using my name and you will receive and you will have abundant joy. Look out next week for the next series on prayer, the Ask Method of Praying. What are you waiting for? Start those important conversations today.